We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Houston Astros and the San Diego Padres. George Springer the next to hit. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First delivery to him on the way. Took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. Seven o'clock. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. 71 degrees here at game time. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. On his way to second is Springer. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That is second. The second baseman. Jose. All too bad. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Paddock is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around and on top of that he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty V, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher, one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw into a game, and two, getting out as quickly as you can. And there aren't too many guys that do it better than this guy. Not a lot of pitches. One of the things I like, he's in attack mode from the first pitch of every at bat. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Now the three and two pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Looking up is the left fielder. Still going back. And it's gone. Batting third. To the plate now, the Jordan hitter. Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. High in the air out to center field. Grisham is under it to make the catch for out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that will bring up the LSU product Alex Bregman. Here's a two seamer inside to start the at bat. It's one and oh. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty one man out. And this ball runs away for ball two two and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Rip down the line. Now time called at the plate as he'll step out and try and start it again. The 2 2. Line drive to left. Duvall is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. So that bases are empty here with two gone, and, and that brings in the left handed hitting Michael outfielder Michael Brantley. Brantley. A ball and no strikes. Two out, nobody on. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. 
Digging in, Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll lead things off go. here in the what bottom half Padre. of the first. Infield in the overshift Fernando. here, now the pitch. Junior. Ball one, no strike. The 1-0. -oh. Hit sharply on the ground. Altuve has it. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. That's Next to the plate for the Padres, that's that's Trent Grisham. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hit in the air out to left field. After it is Brantley. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Batting third. Striding in, no, Manny Bateman. Machado. Looking Batting. to get on base and keep this first Machado. inning alive. Machado. Nope. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his bat and gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Second inning set to go, and stepping up as the shortstop, Carlos Correa. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Cut fastball and it's by him one and one. And it's one and two. Two strike. Here's the pitch. This is in the air out to right field. Marcakis has a read on it. One away. Batting, so the base is empty the here with one away. Three. And in to hit next Kyle will be the outfielder Kyle Hunter. Tucker. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. One and one. One out, nobody on. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Now the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel, he'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Up and in for ball one. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros one first one. baseman. Now the one and one pitch. Two balls, one strike, the count. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Duvall is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Eric Hosmer, and they'll Leading need him to get something Hosmer. going here. Hey, we're the still in the baseman. early stages, and this Eric. one only down by a couple of runs. Hosmer. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Looked like he was on that one, but it's 1-2. and two. Here it comes. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Popped him up. Bregman is under it. He's got it one away. 
Digging that in now for it. San Diego. Brian Dozier. As he'll oh, get yeah. his first opportunity in this Dozier. one. And lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. And a slider stays outside, and he falls behind 2 0. Bases are empty, one man out. Line to second, where it's caught there for out number two. That is good. Now with the plate, that's Josh that's Naylor will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. This offense just doesn't look like they came to play today. Ugly swing after ugly swing. Just needs to be a better approach across the board. Verlander gets the sign. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a high pop-up. Could be tough back behind third. Bregman is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Next up for the Strohs, Garrett Stubbs. And he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lays off 1-0. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. And the pitch. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Great job to keep your hands back and not fully commit. The body was out in front on a great changeup right there, but he was able and strong enough to keep his hands back. He stays alive, still two and two. Now here's the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Stepping up to the plate, George Springer. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Boy, not even close with that one, and he's behind 0-1. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Mejia gathers. And he makes the throw to first. Springer is retired. Two down now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. First pitch of the at-bat. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. 2-0 and now. Down That's low, cool. and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's three and O. Oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. The three and one pitch. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went Alvarez. deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Runner's going. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Adam Duvall. The left fielder, Adam. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Two. 
2 0 to Adam Duvall. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. Ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run. Not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. Three and one to the Padres left fielder. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Great job by the pitcher right there to put him in the proverbial rocking chair. Slowed him down, sped him up, slowed him down. Let's see where he's going now. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Nick Marquez. First pitch on its way. Nick Marquez swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. That's lifted the other way out to left. Brantley is under it. One out. Stepping in, Francisco Mejia, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Weekly hit towards first. Gugliel brings it in. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. The third baseman. The pitch. Alex Bregman. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Grisham is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. The left field Here's field Michael field Brantley. Field. He's 0 for Michael 1 thus far. Brantley. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. And he pours this one in at the letters 0 and 1. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. The back. Here's Carlos Correa now. Stop. Carlos Correa. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Two runs on two hits. No errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2 is taken. That's ball one. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two seamer has a mind of its own. This one's down to third. Machado has it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. One and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Hard hit towards center. And the Friars are into the hit column. The center fielder, number two. Great. And now Trent Grisham. Grisham. And he hits it hard to the right side. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. 
the third baseman, number 13. Manny. And in steps Manny Machado. Machado. As he lifts it in the air to right field. And he will reach down to pluck this one off his shoe top. So fine play there for the first down. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Up next to the Padres. And it'll the be the cleanup baseman. spot for the Padres. Eric Hosmer, 0 for Hosmer. 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Nope, up there. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. 3 and 0 oh now. Osmer in front now at 3 and 1 count. See guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Ground ball sent back up the middle. On to Altuve for the force out, and the inning is over. Striding in for Houston, Kyle Tucker. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The right fielder, number 30. First offering on its way. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And before the 0-1 pitch, he'll step out of the box and get his bearings a bit. And the pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Now batting. The first baseman. So here's Yuli Guriel as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Low and away as he misses again, 2 and 0. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Starting to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Down the third baseline. And this is going to be a foul ball. Three one and a fastball misses there. Ball four. Standing in, Garrett Stubbs. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Maddie. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Tucker at second. Guriel on at first with nobody out. Oh, and they pulled a string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. The center fielder. So it's back to the top George. of the order now. And that brings in George Springer. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And this is taken outside for ball one. Now the 1-0. Is swung on and missed in that strike one. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Two runs, three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. Now the payoff pitch home. A bouncer to the left side. 
And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Now that second base. Ready once again, Jose Altuve. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Hit in the air down the right field line. And Markakis won't get there. It's a foul ball. And that will take a moment here at home plate as he asks for time. Second and third, two away. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0 2 in a big spot. And he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Uh, just trying to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's 2 and 2. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Brian Dozier, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The second baseman. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Dozier. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. He's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now that riding in once again, Josh Naylor flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. The left fielder, number At the plate, Adam Duvall. He Adam. drew a base on balls his Duvall. first time up. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Fouled off. Skied into straightaway right. Tucker waits on it. And that ends the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. They'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. A 1-1. Is a changeup that drops below the knees for a ball. The 2 1 home. That's ball three. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And before the big 3 2 pitch, time is called at home plate. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Checked his swing there, and did he go? 
No, he did not, says the third base umpire. So it's ball four. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Alex Bregman. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. Now a swing by Bregman and a ball hit well to deep left. And this will bang up against the wall. And he is in there. Now batting left fielder Michael Brantley. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional now walk. And the force play is now in order. Correa. Emilio Pagan is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Carlos Correa is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. And obviously a big spot here with the bases loaded, so he'll step out to rethink things. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. Good waste pitch, one and two. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Oh, and he struck him out. A big strike oh, out there with the out. bases loaded, and that's the, right the first field. out of the inning. Kyle Tucker. He's set and the pitch. Kyle Tucker is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back Ks with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Pagan, 28 years old. He throws a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a curve, and a slider. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Bases are loaded with only one out. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Hard hit ball to short. Scooped up. Dozier. On to Hosmer, but it'll come too late to get them both. Ready for another shot now. Yuli Gurriel. It was a walk in his last trip. First offering on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Runners at the corners, two men out. Here's a look over to first, but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, wild pitch, but the catcher is able to knock it down. And a good idea to hang close at first as he'll make it back easily. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. one and two as he chases the slider. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Check swing. No swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. A great job of holding up right there. Little two out lightning might ensue by one check swing holding up. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now he tries to hold back on the swing, and the home plate umpire says he did so successfully. Hmm, it's ball four. Now batting, 
Digging in once again, Garrett Stubbs, one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Bases Josh Reddick he called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. Reddick. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. This is fought off foul over to the right side. It's a ball and a strike. Reddick is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage. Without question, 1-0, 2-0, you'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself, he knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Two out, bases loaded. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move, and he makes the catch as just the one run comes across. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in the powerful the right Padre. fielder, Nick Markakis. The right fielder, Nick Markakis. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit back toward the mound. Reined in. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Now in the box, Francisco Mejia will swing it from the left side right here. Mejia. Fouled away. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. You can pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. This is pulled into right. Tucker is there, two down. The batter. So the batting order That's turns over stop. now and set to go. Fernando Tatis Jr. He singled his last time. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Well he's having a good amount of success here. Dan even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, George Springer. First delivery to him on the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Markakis. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Here's the now second baseman, Jose Altuve. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. He 
comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch to the left side, but it's well foul. The 0 1 pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. One out, nobody on. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. The batter number forty. Now the Astros designated hitter Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez. Here's the first pitch to him. Started to go around there but he holds up ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. The 2 0 is taken, strike one. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the Ladies second time here tonight. Please join for the traditional. Yep. Yep. So digging in now, Trent Grisham. He'll be the man to lead things off country. here in the bottom of the seventh. The starting field. to run out of time. Great. They haven't been able to score any Great runs job. as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind 1 and 2. Now here's the pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. Brentley comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Standing now in, Manny Machado. And with an impressive Manny. contact attribute, he's a gold Machado. player who's a really tough out. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. And he'll put this away for the second out. Now batter. So with two out and the base the is empty, base it's Eric Hosmer now. Eric Hosmer. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball at the time. Two out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. And, and it's fouled away. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Duvall is there, and he has it for the out.
swing. Here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brinkley. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Cut fastball inside. Ball one. Good tailing action there. It's one and one. Bases are empty. One man out. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. Carlos Correa waits on deck. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 3 2 pitch. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. And gone. An absolute bomb. The batter, number one, cooked up Carlos Correa. Jose Castillo gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle Tucker. At the plate, Kyle Tucker, as he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. That's taken for a ball, and it's one and one now to the Astros' right fielder. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Runners on first with one down. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. The first baseman, number Stepping 10. into the box, Yuli Gurriel. It was a walk in his last trip. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Brian Dozier at the plate, a line out, and a ground ball for him out on his line so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Now he'll step out at the plate and reassess things here. Swing and a liner. Foul. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Now batter. So but coming to the plate, hitter. Josh Naylor. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Jurickson Profar will move You're into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gun Number in the 10. inning. Jurickson Profar. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Popped him up. Bregman shading to his right. And he makes the catch for the second out. 
Down into back. the box now. No Adam Duvall. Adam. Here comes the first pitch. Duvall. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Verlander sets his sights. Here it comes. And that's a base hit in the center field. Now batting, right fielder, Nick. Here's Nick Markakis Mark now, the Nick right fielder. Is. Softly hit to the left side. And eight oh. innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Set to start the ninth in this one. And up next, the former the Angel Martin the Maldonado. Martin. Luis Perdomo Maldonado. enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Now the 2-0 home is laid off of for ball number three. George Springer is on deck. Hard ground ball to third. Taken in by Machado. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So the lineup flips over and digging in George Springer. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Grounded to short. He's got it. On to first, and there were two down. And now, Jose Altuve. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late, or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. A ball and a strike now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Swing and a ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box so he steps out and asks for time. He'll try again, one, two. That's in, ball two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Line hard. Foul. The two, two, one more time. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And now it will be the catcher, Francisco Mejia. The catcher, Francisco. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. He's got it one away. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Junior. Drilled on the ground to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. And the Padres are down to their final out now. Stepping up now, Trent Grisham. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Out in front of it, strike one. Strike one. 
Verlander gets the sign. Here he comes 0 1. San Diego down to their final strike. Hit softly down the line at first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 4 nothing the score tonight. Houston jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Justin Verlander gets the W on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, four runs on six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Padres, no runs, three hits, no errors. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 40 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Petco Park, a sellout.